Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use video view in Android. So I have this empty activity Android app. So you can create one empty Android project and inside activity main XML text view, we are going to add video view. So type in video view, then you have to make sure you use match parent or if it's old version of api you are targeting then it's fill parent so use match parent make sure that when you are using match parent then your layout doesn't have any specific margin or padding so that in order to show full screen video view on your layout here like this you don't have those issues okay so the current view that you get is full screen or if we change this relative layout to linear layout then this may shrink a bit and depending on your orientation it can be reduced in size as well okay so one more thing Android ID needs to be added so I'm going to use at the rate plus ID then slash and then video one Okay, and then Android you can use placement but we are taking full space so we are going to avoid that now inside your project make sure that your app RIS has one folder named raw if not you can create it by right clicking on RIS folder then a menu appears where you can choose new and then directory so for directory set the name raw okay so inside raw directory you have one of the video that you need to display here okay so once that is set inside main activity we are going to create instance of our video view okay so inside protected void on create i'm going to use video view and i'm going to use let's say simple view equals to video view and then find view by id and r id dot video one okay and then next thing is Using a simple view dot set video URI okay and inside that I'm gonna use URI dot parse okay and here I'm gonna use Android dot resource and then colon double slash and then i'm going to use get resource name okay so plus dot get package name here so let's get package name and after that let's also add plus and then in double quotes use r sorry should be slash because we need a path here and then we use plus sign to show our raw dot with one okay so what we did here is we showed the path from android resource then package name and then slash and then we checked within resource folder up to the raw and pointed out to that video okay now I'm gonna use simple view dot start okay this should start the video and also do note that you need to keep your video in loop if you want then we use set on prepared listener Okay, set on prepared listener, then you use new 
media player okay and then on prepare listeners so let me check that on prepared listener is here okay so inside that I'm gonna add public void okay and inside that I'm gonna use MP dot set looping to true okay so what it is going to do is it is going to keep my video in loop okay so with start I am starting that video I'm not displaying any video options here so no slider or seek bar only the video will be displayed okay now I'm gonna open my emulator and see if it runs inside the emulator otherwise you can use your smartphone to run this code okay so the app is loaded and it should display the video view okay so it has shrink my video here up to some specific size here as you can see but on the emulator you will find that it has a bit odd performance because it is running with my current ram but still you can see it is showing me some output okay so this is short video on how to display video in video view in your android app